I already wet my pants this morning with rainwater. Just taking the tarp off the sawmill. We're already getting a good start today. These are the logs we cut down the other day from those dead and almost dead Douglas fir trees. The ones for the small off-grid cabin build. They're not the best logs, but we're gonna put them on the mill, see if we can get some decent to good lumber out of them. A lot of these logs have some sweep to them. They've got some sap rot. Get a little punky around the edges. We're just after the good wood in the middle. I'll be starting deep on a lot of the outer cut, so it might look like there's a lot of waste. That's because there is. But that's just the way it is when you have sap wood that's deteriorating. These should have been salvaged this spring instead of now in the fall. A lot of times with these dead trees, you have to get them quick before they deteriorate. This is that freakishly straight log from the previous video that I left long because it's so straight. I need a couple 16 foot two by sixes, at least a couple. And I'm pretty sure we can get that out of this. This mill has three bed segments, which allows it to mill up to 16 feet long. We got three beautiful Douglas fir, 16 foot long, two by sixes. Small knots, mostly straight. That is beautiful on the heart side, but on the outside of the outer two, we have problems. We have the sapwood wane that's deteriorating. It's not too bad in this one, but it's there. In reality, I only got one good one. I might have been able to get two good ones if I only made two, but I didn't want to split the pith because I've had some warping problems when I do that. So I had to cut it into three, which meant I only get one good one. I'll probably just cut these into two eight foots and put them in the questionable pile. It was a nice try, but I think I'm going to have to get my 16 footers from another tree and I do have a candidate.
out of those dead trees, this is all we got. I got the one 16 foot, three two by fours, two two by sixes, and these trashy pieces. That's all, just that and the 16 foot out of those two trees that I salvaged. When it comes to small diameter trees with sapwood rot, and all you can do is get the good heartwood out of them, there just isn't much there. Maybe this will be a good reminder for me. Next time I see one of those trees and think, oh, I should salvage that tree, I'll remember, that's all you're gonna get out of it. Most of it's just waste. I have no lack of wood on this place. Why waste my time trying to squeeze a little bit of wood out of those degraded trees? But we got three more logs. These are from the tree that was only mostly dead. The wood's still green, it's not degraded. Should be able to get a lot more out of it because we can still use the sapwood. We can use the whole log. Now we're talking, that's some beautiful wood came out of one small log. No rot, no funny business. That's it, that's all we got out of all those logs. These ones over here are low grade, but the rest of these are really good. There's just not many of them. 
If I'm going to make any progress here, I need to get some better trees, some better logs. I think I know just the spot. Right over here behind this hill, there's a pocket of dead trees. And I caught them while their needles are still green. They're still, they look alive, but they're full of woodpecker holes. I know they're dead. I'm going to try to start catching them more that way when the wood's still green before it degrades. It's so much nicer cutting them green and so much nicer when you don't have to cut around a bunch of rotten sap wood. The next video we'll go tackle some of those trees or at least the next video where we do this kind of thing. There could be some other one that comes out before then. For today I'm done. See you soon. But I got three beds and it's capable of doing up to thick up to 16 up to 16 feet. But this mill has three beds which is capable of doing up to 16 foot 16 foot foot foot. This mill has three bag three bed this mill has three bed segments which allows it to mill up to 16 feet long.